All right. I guess we could start this. Uh, three, two, one, go. Dun 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 dun. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the news. You are listening to News Radio Station. My name is News Guy Number One, and tonight we have some very important information regarding a very dangerous individual. News guy number two, can you tell us a little bit more about what's going on here? Why yes, of course, news guy number one. Thanks for asking. Hello everybody, my name is news guy number two. And tonight we just wanted to give you all a warning about a very dangerous criminal that is on the loose, known as the Potato Man. The Potato Man is one of the most notorious serial killers around. Known for deep frying his victims to the bones, he is an absolute nightmare. If you see this individual out on the street, we advise that you do not approach him. But instead, please contact your local authorities immediately. Now, many of you might be wondering, what does he look like? Yeah, I think it might uh, be low for this name, first cutscene like or whatever. I think the rest of the game is louder. Potato. So, if you see a giant potato trying to blend in with the humans then that should instantly raise a red flag for you and make you a little bit suspicious. So once again, if you see anything unusual at all, please do not approach it. Do not try to be the hero. Just stay away and contact the local authorities because we want you all to stay safe out there. Anyway, back to you, news guy number one. Well, 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 there you go, folks. You heard it here first. Thank you for sharing that information with us here tonight, news guy number two. Anyway, as for the weather, tonight we will be experiencing some heavy thunderstorms and rainfall. So if y'all plan on going outside, we recommend you grab your jacket and get the umbrella ready. Cause it's gonna be a chilly, chilly night. Anyway, that is all for tonight's news report. Thank you for listening to news radio station. Coming up next is the latest and greatest top music hits playing all night. Alright, now we got a gameplay section. Oh, spooky jump Doors scare. Open now. Come into my room. You strong man, you. How dare you go into my wife's room? I'm going to kick your butt. Did a speedrunner make this or something? This, this is a very cheap game on Steam. It's like three dollars. I think that whoever made this game, like they put their name as like the developer, so that like the developer is just the one guy that made this. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, after that nose thing on the bed, you just kind of sit here and wait. It's kind of like on a timer now. But yeah, during the cutscenes, I'll probably I'll be as quiet as I can so you guys can uh, immerse yourself in the lore of the game. Technically, this whole beginning section, like the first 15 or so minutes of this game, you can actually skip, but I'm doing it for the lore. 
for the spooky lore of the game. Bought games for a dollar that were better than this. The actual any percent for this game is pretty trash, but the game is like a good shit post. There's like buddy. Here is the deal. I'm going to give you one chance to leave my house. All you need to do is find a way out. However, if you decide to stay any longer, I am going to have to rough you up a bit. I don't care if it is the zombie apocalypse out there. I don't like intruders breaking into my house. Go find somewhere else to survive. I mean come on man. Seriously. If you don't get killed out there, you will get killed in here. The only difference is, you would probably live longer out there than in here. Come on. Make the right choice dude. Good luck. I love you. I want to say the normal any percent is, I think, 90% cutscenes. This longer any percent is probably like 80% cutscenes. Or 85% or something. I guess technically I could walk around. Show you guys. could just walk out did you baby looks like now we have bad blood don't give me that look you hideous man I'm going to deep fry you real crispy. <laughs> Knockout. Potato Man wins. Don't touch that dial now. We're just getting started. Hello. Quinn and Sons Bounty Hunting Services. What can I do for you? Yes, hello. Is this Bounty Hunting Services? Yes, sir. This is Bounty Hunting Services. How can we help you today? Oh my goodness. I'm so happy I was able to reach you. I believe that I know the location of the Potato Man. Wait. Wait, wait a second. You mean the Potato Man? As in the most notorious serial killer Potato Man? Yes. That Potato Man. The bad guy Potato Man. The most wanted Potato Man. OMG. I have been trying to hunt this freak down for years. He always slips away. I just saw him leaving the grocery store. He had two jugs of deep frying oil. I followed him back to his hideout and, and now asked I him know for his a location. picture. This is why I am calling. Is it like you're doing now? I think he might be getting huh? ready to huh? deep fry his next victim. You need to get down here ASAP, bra. Potato Man's deep frying days are over. I will not let him deep fry another person. Send me the location. 
me and my son will be down there right away to finally arrest this bad potato and bring justice to all those he deep fried. What did you say your name was? I don't want to get involved. I would like to remain anonymous. Please hurry. Before it's too late. Location obtained. Hey. Dexter. Get ready. We are going to take down Potato Man tonight. Oh boy. Sounds awesome. I can't wait dad. This isn't going to be easy son. Potato Man is very dangerous. But he needs to be stopped once and for all. I ain't scared of no potato dad. Come on. Let's go. Okay, here we go. We got another little small gaming section. Wow, look, we're not in a cutscene. Dad, we can take the helipier to get to Potato Man's hideout. Come on, let's get moving. This is my newest invention. I call it, the Heli Pier. It will get us to our destination in no time. We take down Potato Man tonight. And become recognized as heroes around the world. No. We are not doing this for recognition. We are doing this because we have to. For all those innocent people Potato Man deep fried. Start up the heli pier. We're leaving now. Yeah, from that one menu earlier, if you didn't notice the first time. This is the same layout as a... Hey, Ahmad. You Malak Shaif win Mashi? This has the same layout as uh, that one Silent Hill game. PT or whatever.
Yeah, what was that one Silent Hill game called? Was it PT? Oh yeah, that's what the PT stood for. So, walking diagonally in this game is the fastest form of movement. Okay, so we're almost to the main part of the game. There's like... There's two ways to get onto the rest of the game. There's a code that's supposed to show up, but I don't want to do it out of order because I want to uh, show off the lore of the game. Or you can also, I think, just get there through one of these alternate reality doors. Actually, if I can't get to it in about a minute, I'll just do it the normal way. Because normally, there's supposed to be, like, writing on the wall. It says, like, are you feeling lucky, blah, blah, blah. Here, take this code and put it put it in the... Once you start a new game, then I'll, you can just roll for it. I'll probably just do that right now, actually. So, yeah, what, you, what the text on the wall would say is, hey, go to a new game. Skip this intro cutscene. Th this was all skippable, by the way. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the news. So you skip that, and then you just mash. You don't actually have to type the number in correctly. You just gotta mash the keys that are part of the number as quickly as possible. Oh, here we go. I got first try. Okay, so we didn't really skip any lore. The only lore that we skipped was uh, the writing on the wall. All right, then it'll put us back here.
If that's what the eagle sound represents, what does this, what does this owl sound represent? Is it asking who's playing the game? Who who's playing the game? Who who would buy this? Daddy. Daddy. I finally found you. Daddy. It's me. Robot son. You programmed me to track you down in case you ever were in danger. You need to get out of here daddy. Before Potato Man gets you. Come on. Let's get you out of here daddy. We need to get to the emergency escape heli pier. Dad. This mission is a failure. We just need to focus on getting out of here. We can't arrest the target in our current state. Potato Man got the jump on us. He is tougher than we anticipated. We need to recover and get back to headquarters. Aborting mission. Don't make any sudden movements daddy. That's a nosy nose monster. Don't let it see you. Its yell will kill you instantly, causing your kidneys and other organs to explode. Try to stealth past it. Be extra stealth. Stealth is survival. Alright, gameplay, gameplay coming up here. Diagonal running, fast. You want to try to not get spotted by this. If you do get spotted three times, the enemies despawn, which is very epic. Very cool for speedrunning. Sometimes they won't spot you half the time, which is also cool. Allows you to do it quicker. I think if you hug the wall, it makes it harder for them to spot you. Okay, so they should despawn now. There's three rooms of this. Is there another cutscene? I can't remember. I don't think there's another cutscene. Okay, yeah. Now it's just another gameplay section. good question I don't know why I don't know why they uh, why the guy made it where they despawn if you get caught too many times there is a cool speed strat though or like I think if you get caught twice there's like a there's like a later section where uh, if you get caught right away it makes it faster because the um, The amount of times that you're caught carries over from level to level, so you could be caught twice and then skip like a longer section later on. That's like the one cool speed tech. <laughs> Probably. That was a close one, Daddy. 
I didn't think we would make it out alive. Thanks for saving me, son. I thought I was going to get deep fried. I think we bit off more than we could chew. Or at least, I did. Maybe I'm not as good of a bounty hunter as I thought I was. Let's go home. Come on, Dad. Don't be hard on yourself. At least you tried. SSHHH Dad. Shut up for a second. Listen. Do you hear that sound? <laughs> he deep tried. Oh no. So here's another epic gameplay section. Just run over to here in a straight line. And then we get another loading screen and a cutscene. What do you think is in it, Dad? I don't know, son. Stand back. I'm going to open it. Dad. Dad. Wake up. Come on. What happened? You passed out, Dad. But look. Everything is okay. She is on our side. She. Hello. My name is Lane Na. Lane Na the Lemon. I'm the one who called in about that anonymous tip. Listen to me, please. Potato Man told me to call you. Wait, you're working with Potato Man? Please, let me just explain. Potato Man knew that you were closing in on him. He knew that he was being hunted. He knows that you are the best bounty hunter out there. So he decided to hunt you down before you hunted him down. The whole thing was a setup from the start. He forced me to call you and tell you to come to this location. We were ambushed. You know what? Forget it. I'm done. I'm going home. No. Wait. Please. You can't go. I need your help. Potato Man kidnapped my husband. He said he would deep fry him. He stuffed me in that box and left me to expire. We can work as a team and take him down together. Please don't give up. I don't even know how to find him. This wasn't even his hideout. I know exactly where his hideout is. 
I can take you there. He lives in a big castle. North from here. I can get us there. So what do you say? Let us send Potato Man tonight. I just know you can do it. Okay. I'm in. Let's do this. Take me to his real hideout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love crime fighting. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, son. Oh, Oosh. What a lovely moment. I wish my daddy was here. There it is. Potato Tower. I must warn you. That tower is very dangerous. So, this is Potato Man's hideout. How do we get in? Follow me. I can get us in. <sighs> but there's... <laughs> you bet there's lots of great speed tech to show off on this part. Yeah. Here's the uh here's the here's the best speed tech is um it's an auto scroller. So you gotta wait about two and a half minutes for Lana the Lemon to make it to the tower. Great speed tech. No water level. I don't. Uh, we'll see. There's not water, but there's some sort of liquid. But it's not water. So, uh, I don't know. You gotta, you gotta sit here and wait for her to wobble all the way over here. While, while we're waiting, we can go and check out these. The interiors of these houses. Very nice. This one's a light green. Let's check this one real quick. Hmm. Very nice. This one is a dark green. No, I'll probably have to run back here. Because I don't think I have time to check out a third house. Sadly. Yeah, that's quite the walk the lemon has. Good luck. You brave heroes, you. I think there's a cutscene here I can see. Oh, let's just click to continue, right? Okay. Here's another Dad. movement section. Look. I found an item you can use as a weapon. Sneak up behind an enemy and attack it. Oh, wait. I think I'm supposed I to attack on this one. Dad. I remember now. Look. How do I, I grab this again? Item you can use as a weapon. Sneak oh, space to attack. And attack gotcha. It. I believe in you, Daddy. Have brave heart.
And if you touch one of these spikes on the ground, you can do like some sort of... I can't remember what it is. Like, you get out of the animation, you're still able to walk and run. Since we are in an elevator, why don't we just go straight up to the top floor? Because dad, Potato Tower isn't built straight up. Don't you remember what it looks like from the outside? It is designed like a set of stairs. Each floor goes slightly to the right. So it is, right, up, right. Oh yeah, hold on, let me, and so on. I think I gotta check my Facebook. Oh, uh, okay. I understand. You are so smart, robot son. It is not that hard, dad. Stupid. Stupid donkey. You are a stupid donkey. Hey now, don't give me that robot attitude, boy. You didn't even finish college. Donkey. Excuse me, boy. Just kidding, Dad. I heart you. I thought so. Remember, kids. Stay in school. Finish college and get that degree. Or don't. I don't really care. Just do what you want to do. Listen to your heart. Just pursue your dreams, yo. I believe in you. You can accomplish anything. Okay. Dad. Interacting with the players. This is called breaking the fourth wall. I love that breaking the fourth wall scene. What? How? Who are you guys? We are nobody. Move along. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of the way, old man. Trying to watch potato flicks. Look, we didn't ask to be a part of whatever you're trying to do, okay, man? Whoa. Absolutely useless. You potatoes are a joke. Worthless. Eat dirt, you donkeys. Run Scrat, please. I wish. Scrat's better than this game, to be honest. But it's not a spooky game. So I just gotta run and turn these TVs off. This is the only way to open up that. There's like lasers over there blocking the elevator. This is the only way to open them up. Also, I think there's like a m very huge potato outside one of these windows. Oh yeah, here he is. He's just sitting out there. Also, everywhere you move, the potatoes just constantly look at you. Oh, hold on. I got another Facebook message. Let me let me see who messaged me. Hey. Hi. Hello. 
Good evening. Who are you? My name is Mr. Fancy Potato. I could not help but overhear you talking to my voice. Yeah. They know good lazy couch potatoes man. Now I know they might not seem like they do much. As their father, I want to teach them that hard work pays off. We want to help you young man. The next floors of Potato Tower are very dangerous. It is full of many dangerous traps. I have dispatched my potato children throughout the next floors. They will assist you in your journey to the top. If you see one of my boys, you can pick him up and use him as a shield. Do you guys smell that? What? Who farted? It wasn't me I swear. I can't smell anything cause I'm a robot. Is this the- oh, this little- this one kinda sucks. Oh, nice. I can't remember if you can get through there. I'm pretty sure you can. I think this one takes five. You have to get killed five times, I believe, before uh, they disappear. That's fine. We got it. <laughs> How'd you discover this game? I saw Tyler one stream it. That was a tough floor. But we made it, Dad. That is all that matters. Yes. That floor was indeed a challenge. Okay. We are almost at the top. The next floor is the final floor. It will not be easy. There's that smell again. Oh gosh. It's awful. SME. Smell. UMM. What smell? I don't smell anything at all. Ahem. Excuse me. Yeah. That last floor was pretty tough. I don't know. Sh show sh showing this game to people that haven't seen it before is kind of fun to do. Because the game doesn't take itself seriously. Oh, this is the final, final room. Oh my God, we're. I can't believe we're so far into the game already, right. guys. That's frying oil. There's like some the strategy of. I don't know. You can hug the wall here. I probably won't do it again. You can hug the wall. And, okay. Dad, that's frying oil. Okay. To fry food, so the steam coming out is. Okay, 
let's, let's take this a little slower. That's frying oil. Like the kind they use at fast food places. <laughs> hey, you guys know like... Fry. Okay. I'll just hug the wall, I guess. Dad. That's frying oil. Like the kind they use at fast food places. To fry foods such as fries and onion rings. Actually, isn't that hard to hug the wall? I was just making a big deal out of it. But that oil can kill for sure. Be careful. Okay, where am I at? It could instantly fry you. I don't think it is very good for your skin. You need your skin. Don't get fried. Ho! Oh. That last floor was really, really, really. UMM. Yeah. Exactly. All right, boys. Get a ready. Potato Man is on the next floor. Let us end this. Boys. I have a confession to make. It smells so bad in here, I swear. The stank is legit. It's me. What? I am the one who has been releasing the so-called stank. Oh really? What a relief. I was starting to think it was me. Look. I just can't help it. I'm old, okay. An old fancy potato who farts. My farts just release themselves. No warning at all. Dad never gave me a smelling unit. I'm a robot. Oh. By the way. Lana the Lemon is my wife. She called you guys to rescue me from Potato Man A and D. Well, I think you know the story already. I hate my job. Potato Man. Kept me waiting, huh? What? Kept me waiting, huh? Huh? I said, kept me waiting, huh? Kept me waiting, huh? Kept me waiting, huh?
Honey, are you okay? Are you injured? I was so worried. Hey baby. I'm so happy to see you. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. These two fine gentlemen rescued me. We did. Okay, Potato Man. Here. I'll yield the bounty hunter to you. Now let me and my fancy rich husband go. A deal is a deal. Okay. Fine. I will hold up my end of the bargain. You and fancy farts are free to go. Get out of here. He smells. Alright Potato Man. We got you. Put your hands up and surrender. Do it now. You're going to jail for a long time. No. Make me. I ain't going to no prison. Dad. Potato Man kind of sounds like a robot. Could he be? Hey. Potato Man. Are you some kind of robot? I ain't going down without a fight. Get them source nose. Teach them a lesson. Give them a beat down. Break their kneecaps. Oh shit. Was even going on anymore at this point? Dad. Our kneecaps are in danger. I will handle this. I'll take on Source Nose. You get Potato Man. Son no. It's too dangerous. Dad. I need to do this. I got this. It looks like it is just you and me now. Donkey. I'm taking you down. Bring it on Maid. I'm not Maid. I am Potato Man. You gone get deep fried boy. Are you guys ready for the most exciting boss fight of our generation? Alright, that's the boss fight. Now, normally time is supposed to end here, but I uh, had the estimate so that this final cutscene could play. So, time will end after this cutscene. Knockout. Potato Man wins. Again.
Oh shit. I'm so dead. Yo. Page, my head. A what? What smells like frying oil? Oh no no no. Chat. This isn't good. Well, well, well. Look who finally woke up. You will never get away with this potato man. You call yourself the world's best bounty hunter. Yet, I easily captured you twice. My potato punch is amazing. Anyway, I wanted you to be awake when I deep fried you. This is what I should have done the first time. Say good night to the bad potato. Cause this the last time you gonna see him. Lower the basket. We having bounty hunter for dinner tonight? I... I guess this is it then. Potato man is right. What kind of bounty hunter am I? I'm nothing but a failure. A loser. The world would be better without me. Ow, oh, that's really hot. Probably won't survive this. You gun be real crispy, boy. Ow, ow, ow. Hot. 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 Alright. This is what actually happened. Lower the basket. We having bounty hunter for dinner tonight? What the hell? Potato Man isn't a real potato. He's a robot. Dad. Son. Robot son. Source knows jammed his operating system. It's true. I could destroy Potato Man. Because I created him.
I created Potato Man because I wanted to learn more about humans. I wanted to see how well humans would interact with artificial intelligence I created. In order for humans to not be suspicious of anything. I designed Potato Man to fit in. I made him not look like a robot. So he would fit in with everyone else. I created his body out of a potato. Because, humans are very organic creatures. I thought it would be best to create a robot out of something organic as well. So I used a potato for the body. It was perfect and even generated electricity. Most humans look like potatoes anyway. No one would notice a thing. For his ears, I used cat's ears. I thought, this would help him fit in even more. Because cats and shit like that is so popular on the internet. For mobility, I gave him a nice pair of legs with heels. The design was perfect. Well, at least on paper it was. Everything was going fine until he started deep frying people for no reason. Must have been a glitch or something in the system. I don't know. I never said the AI was perfect. Potato Man turned out to be a useless experiment in the end. You made a monster, but then destroyed your own creation. You did the right thing. Maybe you're not so bad after all. Well then. It looks like our work here is done. Thanks for the help. Come on robot son. Let's go home. Dad. I... I realized that my creation was terrible. But your creation, is perfect. Robot Sun is designed so well. He almost seems like an actual human. What is Source Nose talking about Sun? Dad. I can't go home. You see Mr. Hunter. I made a deal with Robot Sun. If I don't let Potato Man deep fry you, I get to take over Robot Sun's operating system? You're insane. Sorry. But a deal is a deal. Son no 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 no. I can't let this happen. Dad. It's too late. I am already infected with source nose virus. We can't stop it. By sunrise. I will have completely lost control over my operating system. It's okay dad. We are the heroes we have always wanted to be. What are you trying to say son? We can't let someone like Source Nose keep creating weird stuff in this world. He is in my head right now. Hacking away. Taking over. There is only one way to put an end to all this. Once and for all. No. Stop. Destroying myself. Will permanently destroy Source Nose and everything else he created. This is what's best for the world. Thank you for everything dad. I love you. No.
think that's time. There's like one more cutscene at the end where it's just like the dev talking for a couple minutes. I don't know if that's worth still playing, but. Just play it. Okay. I don't know how long he talks for. It's probably like three minutes or something. Hey, hey, hi, hello, hey, congratulations, you finished the game, don't you feel pretty good? Uh, thank you so much for playing, I hope you enjoyed the game, I know I had a lot of fun creating it, but uh, yeah, good job, I'm proud of you. Thanks once again for playing, uh, you stay awesome, and have a good day. Now listen to this music in the background, it's really awesome music, I uh, I think you will like it. Okay, bye. Oh, actually, I think that's it. I think it's just music playing for the rest of it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Potato Thriller. Hope you all enjoyed watching that.